Antes de comenzar el video, me gustaría recomendarles la página de aoea.com, donde podrán encontrar gemas al mejor precio. Pero no solamente eso, sino con mi cupón podrán obtener un 3% de descuento. Así que el link se los dejo en la descripción para poder comprar de forma fácil y segura. First one. This, I mean. So this. Uh, go, go ahead. Uh, go, okay. This is her season seven um, attire. So we, for all the girls, um, Rooster Teeth said that it would be cool if we could do like all, for 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 the four skins that we have here that they wear the season the, the clothes that they wear in season seven, the new sure. season. That isn't out yet. So we get like a little sneak peek of what it's going to look like and stuff. Yeah. Once we, on, well, they, on the screen. They were in the trailer there now, right? They are on the yeah. trailer. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So. But that's, uh, you're getting the most updated version. Yes. For it sure. Was, it was fun. I got to see these in a meeting we had with the Smite team. Um, Alacrity will sometimes do like, we work very closely with the Smite team. <laughs> concept. And they brought us into a meeting and I, my jaw just dropped. They're like, we have this uh, thing we want to show you guys. And they just pulled out all the new Ruby concept art. This happened like early in the spring and I was just, I yeah. was like, I need to be on this project. Yeah. <laughs> You're not having Ruby things go Super on without fan. you yeah. getting involved. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it. It looks amazing. The, the, the roses mm -hmm. affect there for Ruby whenever she's auto attacking. That the trail I think looks phenomenal. Oh, for yes. her as well. Yeah, they added all to help bring out her semblance a little bit from the show. Yes, and yeah, I think sure. they did a really good job. The scythe, uh, I believe, has some good rose animation following it as well. Whenever she throws that around uh, for her first player, that death scythe. Yeah, that uh, is. I mean, this is the the natural fit for Thanatos for, yes. for Ruby, right? Scythe, scythe, Thanatos uses the scythe. It lo it looks phenomenal. Uh, the two, I think. Uh, it, Nice little, it's subtle, but you get a couple extra roses flying around, you know, kind of tie in with that. Uh, the ultimate, I think people are going to really like quite a bit for sure. Soul Reef, obviously a Thanatos classic, but the alt animation, I think, is really, really cool. Of course, you can hear the, the Ruby voice actress there voicing the whole way. That over the, over the head sort of scythe stab, I think, is really, really awesome. A little uh, fun fact for the scythe, uh, we had to do some adjustments to fit Thanatos' model a little bit better. Mm. So mm -hmm. that, real quick, for what Ruby is gonna do. And you can move around with this one, I believe. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can just yeah. walk around, spin in your scythe, ready to go. That is really, really cool. It is really cool. Sure. Love it. Alright, let's take a listen to the voice pack here for Ruby Rose Thanatos. in game which required some changes to be made to to the model and the way that even down to the way that she walks yes all of it was because you know freya kind of runs like a neanderthal so we had to <laughs> make updates to how prim and proper weiss schnee it really is sure so um yeah you can see by the stance by the walk everything like her just the littlest details yeah, I think she came changed. out really close to how she looks in the show. Yeah, the animation team, like, I would wander over to their desks every once in a while while they're working on it and just, like, peek over. And they were just so excited to show the vast differences from Freya. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's way they, different. They did a really good job. I mean, that swing animation is very different. And, yes. and remember, this is going to be classic Freya, so it may look a little bit different to what you're used to right now, but this is different even from classic Freya's. Old, uh, old style right there. Mm -hmm. Feels a lot more Weiss-like, so to speak. Uh, there's the old Irradiate. Again, as Classic Freya comes back, we get a little bit of, uh, we get a little bit there. Got your runes, right? That That's her big thing? Is uh, it glyphs. glyphs. I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, glyphs. New or something like that, that she shoots off right there. Banish, I believe. Uh, this got some changes later on, I, I remember hearing someone say about making sure that the glyphs on the ground were as yes, close Alyssa. to yeah. yeah the black mm. glyphs instead of the white glyphs because the black glyphs make things levitate mm. yeah. okay mm -hmm. so want to be as accurate as possible right there the mm -hmm. ultimate i think is really really cool they get the the kind of animation that you get right there she 
fires off for Valkyrie's discretion Remember shots. My name. That is sweet. And the little glyph underneath her, the, again, letting her float, right? Yeah. Let's do a VXGs. And Weiss is might be my, really like my favorite one. It is my favorite one. This has a lot of personality to it. So cute. And she turns around, <laughs> looks at you! <laughs> it's so cool! Yeah, this one's incredible. Yeah, it is really cool. Again, you can move all around the map with your VXG right here. Uh, let's take a listen to the voice pack for Weiss Freya. That was wonderful! Go team! You want a joke? Well, I already see five on the field. <laughs> You're so childish. What's wrong? Too cold for you? The, the, again, I'm not, I, I haven't gotten a chance to watch a whole lot of Ruby quite yet, but mm -hmm. it just feels like this uh, fits pretty well overall with this kind of style that we've gone for them for basically across the board. Yeah, I think so too. And it's good to have them all on one team. You know, like, yeah. to have the all different classes so you can play them all on one team. I think that's really nifty. Get the whole squad. Maybe queue up a little bit of Siege, you know, for have a nice sure, balanced composition <laughs> there for you. Yes! Of course, yeah. the uh, that, is, that is Blake's symbol, I believe, right? Under, yes. That's uh, being shown yes. on the Divine Presence. Or uh, the, color, the color swap there between power yeah, and speed is really cool. Down. Just pretty s simple and white and black and then black and white, but mm -hmm. I think it's really... Uh, yeah cool sort of dynamic and then of course the reflective mirror see that charging up Have you learned your lesson yet? and fired off now it's where we once we get into the dash is where you'll start to Have see these clones start to come into play see those trail behind blake as she uh, as she dashes unfortunately that's gonna be i mean we could try yeah, it's gonna Extreme be a tough man, one. <laughs> I, I was gonna say, if you if you think you can pull it off, man, this is a this is gonna be a difficult task. Woo! But the slow mo. Got it, dude. Pawns. Oh yeah, there they are. Pawns like. Oh, there they are. Excellent, dude. That's sweet. Those clones look really, really good. They look really good. There's that's not the only place you see the clones. It is not. That's a nice little teaser, a little cliffhanger, <laughs> like we call it, like to call it in the business, Tina. You're you you don't even need me here anymore. I don't you know can, if it's a cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, you can run the show easily. Uh, there's a dazzling offensive, and as Tina mentioned, it's not the only place you'll see the clones. Is on the dash. It's on the VXG as well. And that is. Real cool that you get to that move is around. Really awesome. At the same that's, time, that's one of. Actually, this might be better than Vice's in my opinion because Blake is actually my favorite character. Oh yeah. Yes, because she's a cat, and I love cats, as you know. <laughs> I do know that. She's not chunky, but she's yeah, you do cat prefer girl, your and cats. cat girls are amazing because I love Fonzie. Move us along a little bit. Attack, defend, Fonzie. Awesome. A ball of yarn, really. Do you expect me to roll around on the floor and play with it? In what world do you live in where attacking the innocent is the right thing to do? Call me a cat burglar. See what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Okay, yeah, go ahead. A lot in the show. Gotta have them, right? Can't, uh... Can't be having anything less than, than the accuracy yeah. there. Uh, Yang, Terra, one that the two in particular really uh, impressed me yesterday whenever we got a chance to, to get a little bit of a preview of these. She looks so good. But this like, one required a lot of extra work, I believe, Alyssa. You were telling me yesterday with, with the changes to the model and, and how it was going to look. Yeah, for sure. Um, she was the first one that I got to kind of work on the, what I guess, concept. I got to do the orthographics yeah. for her and um we changed a lot yeah. because she does not share the same body type with tara sure so we had to make some changes in various spots um but i think height wise she was at least the closest to what we, or where we were going but i had to yeah. slim down some body parts because tara's more like she's beefy and muscular yeah. and yang has yeah. muscle but is not Terra sized <laughs> not the goddess of the earth sized you yeah. know what i mean a yes. little bit a little bit oh, different yeah. there for sure that i think these walls are super cool and the oh, shatter dust sound walls. they're dust walls Man. dust walls yes of course the the dust walls and the shatter sound with those just sounds amazing of course the monolith there ready to shatter as well at the exact same time 
the, these little dust crystals uh, are, are such a cool sort of tie-in between Yang and Terra. And then, of course, we have the ultimate Earth and Fury, where you're going to put crystals all over the enemy team and then get a chance to, to pop these as well. Uh, the, the dust to deployable kind of tie-in right there was, was a, a big part of, of this one for sure, right? Yeah, we were trying to find a way to, like, get the deployables to read right, but still read is Ruby. Mm -hmm. And Tina and I were discussing, I sent her so many options and all of my work in progress for the deployable stuff. And both of us agreed that uh, the dust crystals were the way to go on this. Yeah. I think it turned out really, really well. Let's take a list, or actually we got a VXG, of course, that we got to take a look at before we listen. Oh, this is cool. I like that VXG. <laughs> yeah, this one, very, very cool. Moving around, using a little bit of extra mobility via the gauntlets, of course, but also it's looking so good doing it. It so fits her personality too. Like, <laughs> I can just see Yang doing this, for sure. Flipping around. <laughs> yeah. Not a care in the world. No. Doing her no. own thing, for sure. All right, let's take a listen Great. to the voice pack here for, for Yang. Hello! Yes! I love it when you're feisty! Yeah! Teamwork! Banzai! What? You were expecting a joke? But the other team's already here! Oh snap! This Yang is 99% done with all the disarm jokes. These training gloves are coming off. Nothing is going to keep me from my sister. Got it. Make, get, make sure you get your games in so you can get this outfit from volume one, from season yes. one mm -hmm. of Ruby. As we highlighted, it's all the, the season seven outfits, but this is the classic version of Ruby Rose. So a really cool way to reward those players who are able to get towards the end of, of the battle pass yeah. and who are really big Ruby fans as well. Yes, this is very nostalgic for sure. Looks great. Look, we're really excited about this one. Really just the entire collaboration we're, we're very, very excited about, and we hope that all of you Ruby fans out there are as well. Now, it's not just these incredible skins that you get with the Battle Pass. We also have a lot of other 